Okay, this is Sir Limonette. Um, crazy foods or strange foods or whatever it was. Okay, I've, a lot that you mentioned, you're really right on about the tomato sandwich. You just try a banana sandwich. You do the same thing. You put mayonnaise on both sides of the bread. It needs to be white bread and slice up a banana and put on it. That's, uh, that's good eating. Um, growing up, we always had turkey necks and rice. I like turkey necks, and I like turkey necks and rice. They kind of just kind of stuff the meat off that bad boys. I know you don't like turnips and mustard greens, but we like to take a ham hock or two or three or four and toss it in there. But it's got to be fresh greens. The canned greens won't work. Those are no good. Um, strange foods. <coughs> I don't like uh, I don't like sugar on my grapefruit. I put salt on my grapefruit. I put salt on my watermelon. I agree with you. The watermelon has to be cold, so it's better if it's cold. Um, down here we eat a lot of boiled peanuts. I love boiled peanuts. And no, you don't take them out of the shell before you boil them. You have to get what we call green peanuts, and that means that they're not dry. They're still kind of a moist right after you pick them. You put them in salty water and boil that out of And I, I like those a lot. Um, I agree, I don't really like sugar on rice either, but a lot of people I know put eat sugar and rice for breakfast. I think it's atrocious. I hate it. Um, foods, foods, foods. There's so many strange foods that we eat as a people down in the south. We eat dirty rice, that's hamburger meat and a little bit of cumin and a little bit of rice all slopped together mixed it up. Some other stuff that's good, but I don't think that's southern, I think that's Mexican, but I don't really know. Um, black eyed peas. I love black eyed peas with snap beans in them. I love black eyed peas and I usually toss a ham hock in that too. I'm a big fan of ham hocks. They can season anything. Um, <clears throat> we eat a lot of sausage gravy down here. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if Yankees eat, or Northern people eat that. I mean, I think boiled peanuts is my pinnacle of crazy foods that we eat, though. I don't, we, we eat a lot of fried stuff down here. Um, let's see, I covered turnip greens, mustard greens, collard greens. I like to eat the turnip that comes with the turnip green on the bottom. Sometimes you get about that big. And I eat that bad boy like an apple. I love turnip greens. And I like peppers. I like green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers. I like that. But I think that's a worldwide thing. Let's see other country things. We, where I live, I live on the water. So we always are eating blue crab or shrimp or something that we just catch. I don't think a lot of people eat blue crabs. If you eat blue crabs, remove the devil's fingers because it'll make you sick. If you're lucky, it'll just make you sick. I like grits. I like a big old tomato underneath my grits. I like to put my tomato down, then grits, then salt and pepper, and then eat it with butter. And my favorite meal of all times is catfish and cheese grits. I have it for breakfast at least once a week, usually. I like it fried. I like my catfish fried. I like to have cheese grits on the side, maybe some hush puppies, a little bit of ketchup for the hush puppies. Catfish is my nemesis. Hell, half my screen names are catfish, so I mean, I'm I'm an avid catfisher person. Um, we eat oysters a lot down here. Sometimes raw, sometimes steamed. And I'm not going to say which, by the way, I put a little bit of hot sauce on it. I like hot sauce. I like tomato sandwiches. So now I'm going to have to go get one. Um, that's about. That's all I can think of right now. There's a lot more though, and I agree with you on one of our other, on the southern southernism video that we did. We talked about getting a coke. Everything is a coke. You want a coke? Yeah. What kind? I'll take a Dr Pepper. That's how we do things. Um, it seeps into our southern minds that the only thing is a coke. And there's other things too. I dip Red Seal, but I'll say, hey, I'm gonna go get some Copenhagen. I don't dip Copenhagen anymore. I have it for seven years or eight years. But it's still Copenhagen to me.
Um, I like pecan pie. I like it sweet enough to hurt you. And I don't want no crazy stuff put on top of you. I'll keep your whipped cream and do whatever you want with it. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin pie. I like food, you can probably tell. Um, but I don't think that I eat that many southern things. And bow to all of you people that are avid grillers. Look, when the meat looks done, take it off of the grill because it's still going to cook. When you get it off the grill and put it on your plate, and then take it into the house, it's still cooking. It is hot, it is still cooking. If you wait until it's done all the way through, then take it off the grill, you're gonna have basically beef jerky or whatever you can order at a steakhouse chain restaurant. I do the same thing with my pork. I boil all my chicken before I cook it. I don't boil it all the way through, but I boil it before I cook it because it, it makes it easier to cook in that way the kids don't scream because it looks raw inside. And then I take the broth, and make chicken soup or season it up. I always use my ham bone when I get a big Sunday ham. I always use that ham bone for lima beans and rice. There's another one. I love lima beans. Not the little green lima beans. But you buy them in a bag and they look like little rocks. They're hard. You soak them overnight. You toss a ham bone in them bad boys and you never stir them. You stir them the first time and that's it. If you stir them after that, they all, it all just tears apart. Gives you a green onion, a piece of cornbread, and then some rice, and you'll never want nothing else to eat in your life. Because then, when all that meat that was on that ham bone falls off into that, as those beans are boiling, falls off into that into that bean soup, and it is just wonderful. I love that a lot. And that's gonna be it. Hi, Lemonette. How you doing? I hope everything's going good for you. Take good care of yourself out there or up there. I'm in Florida. I'm in the office in Florida. How bland is this? But, but you know, I'll do the next one maybe in the living room. I don't know. Or either on the boat. It all depends on how bad the water is. And I'll be going like this. And then y'all will get sick. And we don't want that. So everybody have a good day. If you watch, if somebody do me another video reply, I'm feeling kind of lonely and shit. Anyway, love you. Mean it. Bye.